Hi everybody and happy Monday, uh, oh happy Sunday, sorry. So today um, I'm going to be doing another anime review and it's called The Demon Slayer, The Infernal Train. So if you have not known about Demon Slayer, I do recommend it. So to precap what happened if you ever watched season one, where Tanjiro basically finds his family murdered, but his sister was the sole survivor of that incident, but she turned to a demon. Then going down this road, he becomes a demon slayer. And first to know, he's trying to find out like um, more about demons and also trying to find out the demon who murdered his family and turned his sister into a demon. And so, going through that, he meets other demon slayers, and also he meets Sinichu and also um, uh, Shingo, or whatever his name is, uh, and it's Nosuke, and also learns about their powers and everything and learns by them. We still do not know much about the other ones, but we also we learned about the Hashiras too. So we learned about that too. So during the ending of season one, it ended where the the train, and then that's how the movie started. So I'm gonna be opening this up and show you guys what I got in here. I found this on Amazon and I was like, oh my gosh, no way. So we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you guys, that is, Neat! Look, it's even on the back too. I can't wait to take this with me to Dragon Con with my dad. You see, I like taking these small little bags so I can put my wallet in and also I can, you know, take it with me. So yeah, look how cute it is. So yes. But um, so in the show, we actually, in the movie of Demon Slayer, the, the, um, the Infernal Train, it talks about where we meet the flame Hashira, Rengoku. And he's a very um strong character, but not like he's like one of the most like second porn characters but he has a very strong like storyline to himself where he you see his family um was known as the flame hashiras like his father was a swordsman before him but there was more of a story about his father where he stopped being a hashira and just you know and and also uh, rengoku has a younger brother and um he's He's kind of like the opposite of him and stuff. Also going around, um, during on the train, they meet this demon. He's a lower one. And during that time, he has some of his master's blood. And he's trying to kill everyone off the train to create them a happy dream. That's what he basically says, a happy dream. And so, and going through this um, movie, um, there is some parts of it that is very important to know about, but also very um, what's going to happen in season two that we don't know yet. But there's some hidden facts to it. Um, when they're basically fighting, um, they're actually dreaming of their like um, their sweet little dreams that the demon put in. The one thing I loved about it was this: that Tanjiro dreamed about his family that wasn't murdered. And it were fine and everything. But then all of a sudden he realized it was a dream. But I love this part because it's very sad. But also it's kind of like a, a very con conclusion of how Tanjiro felt. If you have never seen it of the anime, it's kind of like from s episode one to the actual ending. It's kind of like he feels very guilty that he wasn't there to protect, him, to protect his family. And that's kind of like haunting him still. And you can see that in the actual... Um, episodes that he is very um, haunting where he wasn't there for his family he wasn't there for his sister and 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 he kind of feels that the blame like he kind of feels that he that you know the blame of you know I wasn't there to protect you and your guys died and it's all my fault like he has that that kind of grudge over himself because of it but then at that moment when he realizes that it's just a dream he says goodbye for the last time, but it basically means that he's, he knows that they're all dead, and he knows that his sister's still alive, but she's a demon, but he can be going back to the past and, you know, and realize, I have to make peace with what happened, but also, I have to say I'm sorry, but also I have to move on. He knows, deep down, I think he really realizes that his family doesn't blame him. His family does not blame him. I think they're, one thing that they were thought of is that he wasn't there to witness it or not be killed himself. And so that's a very important thing about it. Um, also, um, in the show, we're basically watching the fight scenes. It's so incredible. The show was 
like every fight scene was perfect everything i actually saw it four times y'all i i couldn't help it i had to see it four times so here goes i got a little gift thing right here it says thank you um let's <gasps> you get face mask oh my god no way look it's the Nero. <laughs> and it fits my face oh my god it fits my face y'all it fits <laughs> whoa are you guys okay <laughs> my thing fell apart <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> My thing fell. <laughs> so yeah. And so, ooh, I like this one too. <laughs> this one's really good. <laughs> guys are okay? Okay. <laughs> and so, um, going through the story um, before you guys fell, <laughs> but, um, and during that, they fought the demon, but also knowing that um, Tanjiro gets hurt again. But then eventually we meet up with the upper three now, upper three demon. And so Rengoku is fighting him and he's fighting to save everyone. And I love this moment where it's kind of like there's some more story to him, but we will never know more about him. But also knowing that he's a very passionate and strong um, Hashira, a demon slayer. And so, yeah. And, oh, there's little buttons, guys. Look, look at little buttons. I love these looks. You guys get the um, little Tanjiro. <laughs> and then you get um, little Tanjiro again. It's kind of neat. <laughs> and so, going through the actual... Oh my god, look at all this, guys. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This little keychain. I can put this in my... I can put this on my little... I can put this in my car keys. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. Oh! And you can't go wrong with the lanyard. Look at this, guys. Look at the lanyard, y'all. This lanyard is so cool. And so, I can't tell you about the ending, what happened. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spoil you guys. Because if you have not seen it, I do recommend buying it. I do recommend it. Um, I heard that it's coming in June 22nd. But they didn't release the day for, for us yet. That's only for Japan, I think. But I'm not 100%. But, um, so, yes. But, I love the... Like guys, this was really big on character development because it was the, it was a big arc. That's what they said. Like my friend told me, it's a big arc because this movie became before season one and how it really made a big clim climax in everything. Like we have no. Um, there's a lot of like shatter back, but also there's a lot of like hidden stuff. Like, like there was a part where when Tanjiro is trying to figure out how to get out of this dream world, and all of a sudden there was this person floating and we don't know who he is but he's wearing the same earrings as him so who is this person that's the one thing we don't know yet um and also there's a lot of theories about him we could think that he could be a long lost relative that we don't know or he could be one of the 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 demon slayers from a past that know tanjiro's family and passed down an actual um but we don't know so there's a lot of like facts about that and also um also rengoku's father like there's there's a reason, like, there's two different reasons, I think, why he stopped being an Ahashira. I think one was because um, he kept saying it was pointless to be a swordsman, pointless to be a Hashira, is because being a demon server for so long and not saving people, I think he kind of lost the fight a lot. And, oh my gosh, guys, there's little cards in here. Oh my god, it's so cute. And look, there's, there's Tanjiro doing the fire dance. Oh my god, I love this. Okay. But also, and also knowing that his wife passed away too. That's a Rengoku's mother. Oh my god, y'all. Look at all these playing cards. Look at them. They're so cool. Now that is neat, y'all. That is neat. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. <laughs> ah! These are so cute! <laughs> I actually really like these. <laughs> I'm going to keep those. But also, um, going through it, we are very, um, and so, yeah. I, I did love the scene about, like, the father's very, um, has changed so much. But also, we, I really did love that Rengoku didn't change because the father didn't really, you know, um, respect. But also, I loved how Rengoku basically tells his brother, saying, hey, because I remember that um, in the actual movie, um, Rengoku's brother wanted to be a swordsman too, follow the path of his brother. But then he realizes that his father didn't really like like it. He wasn't really happy about it. But also, that's the reason why he tells his brother 
Never to follow the footsteps of somebody. Follow your first steps of yourself. And that's what I really love. And there's a little button, y'all. There's a button here. There's a button for your phone. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> so cool. Okay. And, um... And look, you get little... What are these? What are these? <gasps> little... Oh, my God. You get a Demon Slayer yellow. And then you get the actual, um, black and blue blue is my favorite color and then you get pink oh my god that's so cool i like that oh and you can't go wrong with stickers you can't go wrong with stickers i can't wait to put these all on my car i'm gonna put these all on my car y'all this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put these on my car i'm gonna choose the ones that i want on my car and i'll be like hello my precious this is my car <laughs> and so yeah look look at all the stickers y'all and look at them if you guys can't see these, look at them, y'all. Look. It's so adorable. Oh, my God. This this is actually Rengoku right here. You guys didn't think of it. This is Rengoku right here. This is Tanjiro. This is um Ninosuke. Oh, this is um Nezuko. That's Tanjiro's uh, little sister. Um, Let's see. What else? Um, Oh, this is my favorite. Almost my favorite character. <laughs> Sinichi. <laughs> He's... He cracks me up, y'all. He cracks me up. But also, there's a lot of, like, um, like, I almost cried at the end, y'all. It's very emotional. Um, there's a lot of facts. So, that's why I'm about to say this movie. So, yeah. Um, so I think that's mostly it about the anime of the Demon Slayer. Um, I can't wait for season two. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're waiting for for season two. Um, um, I've been hearing that there's going to be more seasons, but we don't know yet. But I did heard there's going to be 18 episodes in this one. It's because they're trying to stretch it out a little bit more because the manga is not long. It only has 23 uh, volumes. And also you can buy the um, anime or the manga on Amazon if you want to. Or you can watch the anime that's on Hulu or Netflix. Go right ahead. But I do recommend Hulu because Netflix kind of like cuts out parts of it out. So always watch, um, always watch it on Hulu because Hulu gives all of it there. Um, also, what else? So yeah, it, it's really good. And also, I want you guys to comment down below and tell me your favorite moment in Demon Slayer, the movie, and tell me like why is that. But also, re remember that these characters—they're so alive, but they're also in a manga. But even though they're characters from a book, but it kind of makes sense all about us because we could be, like, the reason why I fell in love with Demon Slayer is because there's part of them, like, there's a character that's similar like me, and that's the reason why I fell in love with it, but also I love the storyline to it. I love the character development and learning and also um, hidden stories. Also, um, there's another hidden fact you guys didn't know about. Well, you see, we remember when Tanjiro... They basically had a black sword where there's a hidden theory of it, too. There's one where, um, even though um, it's said that um, demon slayers who have black sor swords, they don't live long enough. Well, here's the thing. They don't have an element that they, are, um, that they have. That means that we're going to learn that Tanjiro is going to learn the other elements, or we don't know yet, but it's kind of like he just learned the fire dance with his sword. That is very rare for, and he was supposed to be the water um, demon slayer, but technically he wasn't. So yes, um, I'm hoping that we get to learn more, and um, I can't wait. I have seen the trailer for season two. It looks really good. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow, and there's more to come, and I hope you guys have a lovely day. So, bye.